Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2021 reaction video! Wow, that was a mouthful and it doesn't get any easier the more you say it. And in today's video, judging by that title down below, I'm going to be reacting to the second rehearsals of all of the entrants who are going to participate at this year's competition. Now, if you guys have missed it, I've already reacted to the very first rehearsals for each country. And if you click that link up the top there, it will take you straight to that video. However, as we all know, the very first rehearsals are kind of done by like an audience perspective in the auditorium. But the second rehearsals, you start to get a clearer image of what it's going to look like on stage from the camera from the different angles and how the staging looks in all its glory. So in this rehearsal video, I'm expecting to be more impressed by the screen work, as you can't really get a clear image for it when it's from the auditorium. But so far, you guys have been agreeing with me in the comments section that the staging really does have a massive impact on your opinions. Compared to just hearing the studio version and just the audio, everybody loves a visual. So just be mindful, before I start this video, it is only a recap from the official Eurovision YouTube channel. So it's only gonna be a very small segment from each performance. But with the competition looming, I could hardly wait. So let's give this a go. Enough chat. Let's react. And yes, before we say anything, I'm dressed as an elf. Are we surprised? It's nearly Christmas. Let's get into the spirit. All of this anticipation is not good for us. It's not good for our elf. Uh, uh. Okay, that was bad. Let's do this. Let's go. Ah, oh, that staging looks lush. Ah, oh. nice Germany, nice. Ah, oh, Nico's really upped his vocals. The staging looks great. I love the screens. Ooh. Now we can see the floor for Poland. Looks great. Oh, I see it now. The screens is half and half. Very different entities and they collide. Nice. Oh, strong, vibrant, vibey, edgy. A lot going on. That works with the theme of Italy's song. Okay, Bulgaria, this is very X Factor. Very X Factor. Okay, Tanya has a tough job here. She has to keep alert while she's in this hoop and all the stage was going on below her. She really has to get the audience's attention. Yes. He's upped his game too. So much more enthusiasm, energy. And it's nice to see the house is lit up too. Okay, wasn't impressed with Armenia for the first day, but now we can see it from this angle. Looks a lot better. Energy seems a bit lacking though. And Kazakhstan's screen work is so captivating. There's a lot going on. A bit distracting. Still so impressed by Albania. Love it. So vibrant. And, vi and fun. Yes, Ukraine. Dramatic. Love the fireworks. Adds to the mood, great aesthetics. And France still looking as strong as it did the first day. Oh, he's up to his game as well. That talent. Oh, goosebumps. Sona as is over, always giving me the goosebumps. The gold theme works so well, great vocal. Oh, and that shadow work for the Netherlands is so much stronger with the camera work. So good. Oh, look at the purples, the party, the fiesta. Yes, babe. Serbia, this still confuses me. The outfits, the staging, the big mushrooms. I don't get it myself. 
Great song, but I don't get the staging. Now, these guys act like a tribe. They are a squad, and they are hashtag squad goals. I think this is a great placement for Portugal to really end the competition on a magical note. The stars work so well. And I love that alleyway of lights that just kind of go in front of him. That works so well and it really draws the attention to him and his singing. Great stuff. Guys, wow. These are real Elvias. Guys, like I said before, this is only very, very short clips. But it does give you a better understanding with the camera work as to what it's going to look like. And regardless of the competition, and regardless of these kids going against each other, they are all so talented. The standard is so, so high, and they all deserve to do so well. And it's just a travesty that obviously somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. They are all winners, and we should celebrate that they are all doing such an incredible job. To be honest, there's not one song in this competition that I dislike. Just ones that I probably wouldn't play in comparisons to the others, but they are all very good, and I appreciate every single one of them for what they contain and their artistry. And definitely after watching this video, I have a whole new appreciation for the staging for Poland, for Armenia and for Georgia, because you can really see from a proper angle what the screen work looks like. And it's all so vibrant, fun and fresh. Ones that I'm still a bit perplexed about is Serbia. I don't quite get it at the moment. The, I still love the song, don't get me wrong, but the staging's a bit confusing. But also Malta. I see what they're doing, like each entity, each singer is so different to one another and they kind of collide in the middle but it's very odd and confusing to look at. Also in Kazakhstan, there's a lot going on and it does distract from the singers for me. But that was just my opinion on the second rehearsals. What did you guys think? Have any of these clips changed your opinion? I know they were very short, don't come for me. I wanna know all of your thoughts and all of your feelings down below in the comment section, guys. I cannot wait to get stuck into your opinions. But that is all from me, guys. Junior Eurovision is just around the corner, and I hope you all have a brilliant time watching. If you have enjoyed Junior Eurovision 2021 season this year, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button. That way you won't miss out on any of the videos I have coming out on this channel. But that is all from me. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.